welcome back to my channel. Today is kind of on topic with everything that's been going on lately. I'm showing you guys how to smudge, as you can tell by the title. Now, this smudge stick, and I insert pictures so you guys can see um, a nice close-up. So this smudge stick right here, um, I created and I made myself. And I feel like it's just so beautiful. It smells amazing, it smells fresh and it has nice roses, rose petals in it. And I think it's just so pretty. And I've been burning this one um, for a while. This is one, that I made a couple of them. So I've been burning the other one and it makes the house smell amazing. And I'm just going to show you guys what it could be used for, um, how you can cleanse your um, divination tools with it. So here I got some, it says Heaven Banknote, it's $10,000. I'm just going to call it Universal Money. That's what it looks like. That's the back. I got it from, um, if you're in Charlotte, Mama Betsy's. It's got that money smell. Mmm, this is gonna manifest me so much. Fucking money, do you understand me? This is gonna manifest me so much money. I'm so excited. I'm gonna cleanse this, I haven't used it yet, but I am gonna burn some. I'm in a burning fucking mood. Okay. I done got my room clean. I'm telling you, when my room clean, my mind just opens up. So, and I got my tarot cards here. My oracle cards. And I got another pair of oracle cards down there. Then I have my journal. I'm going to cleanse too. Then I have this crystal. This clear quartz crystal. And I have a few other crystals in here. I have an amethyst. Um, I think this is called Obsidian. Why am I forgetting the name of it? I don't know why I just forgot the name of it. This damn crystal. It's not called... I really forgot the name of this crystal, and I've got a couple of them. I buy these crystals all the time. But, you know, when you be smoking, your memory... I can remember stuff when I'm not high. My memory is just fine. But as soon as when I'm high, it's just I'm like, uh, okay. Anyway, so opal. This is not even called freaking opal. I forgot what this crystal is called too. My mind is blank. Only thing I can think of is freaking amethyst and clear quartz. Oh, peacock ore. <laughs> I got a Victorina here. Um, this red Jasper. I got a few of those. I forget the name of that one. I think this is the Obsidian, the black one. That's called. This is the same, I believe. Just a bunch of different variety of crystals. Got another couple clay cords in there. So yeah, this is the one that I keep underneath my pillow. So I do need to clean that, clear that one. And I want to clear this amethyst, honestly, so I can keep it underneath my pillow. And just all, I just, my whole intention is just, um, I just want them to be pure. I just want them to, um, to give me, oh my God, the most craziest thing just happened to me. I just, I literally forgot. A uh, black cat ran right across my car, stopped, and just stared me down. I'm like, that's a message. And I meant to look that up and see the the actual definite, like the actual message that it is. But whatever it is, um, I don't care. Whatever it is, I'm 
ready to receive the message. Like, I'm open to it. I'm ready to learn what I'm supposed to learn. And I was just in the car giving thanks. Like, thank you for this. Thank you for that. Thank you to, like, just thank you. Like, thank you for communicating with me. Because my, my spirit guides have been communicating with me so freaking much. It's just been amazing just to see how stuff happens, like, over and over and over. And even when I fall, like, back, like, even when I fall back and I, um, I don't visualize as much and I don't wake up at the time I'm supposed to wake up. I still see signs. It's like, it doesn't matter. It's like, take that day off. You deserve that day off. You, I mean, you're still putting in a lot of work. So give yourself that day off. Just relax. Here's your sign that you still won't get what it is that you want. Like, just relax. This is annoying. Let's move these. These are going in the trash. Anyway, so, um, yeah. So, I just want them to be able to open my open my brain up, you know, connect deeper to the universe, just clear cleanse my aura, just make me a little more aware to my surroundings, a little more fearless, um, a lot more fearless and just you know, just receive the message. Period. Just receive the message. This I want oh that shmang, you know what I'm saying? Shmang. And I want my tarot cards to just be able to communicate with my ancestors, communicate with the higher power to just receive whatever message that is supposed to be received. And my journal just, I just want my journal to be blessed. Whatever I write, I manifest in that journal. That's my manifestation journal. Whatever I write down, I'm damn sure I'm fucking get it. When I write that shit down in that journal, it's over for it. Okay, so just want to start by lighting it. And you want to open a window because you want to have somewhere for that energy that's being cleared for that energy to go. It smells so amazing. You want to ground yourself. <laughs> Just release yourself of like any worries, any doubt. So, what is sage? Um, sage is, or smudging. Sage is, um, sage is an actual herb that you can smudge with. So, this is not sage. This is thyme, thyme. I'm sorry, this is thyme. I don't know if it's like thyme or thyme, but whatever it is, T-H-Y-M-E, that's what it is. Oregano and rosemary and rose petals. So, it's a pretty good mix to um, clear the bacteria in, in the air. So, this is how I think about it, and this is one way that has stuck to me, is that... So these herbs can clear bacteria. And negative energy is basically bacteria. And this is like the positive energy. Kind of, sort of. But this is like the negative energy killer. It can go into the air. And when it turns into air, this makes sense. This is what makes sense to me. Go into the air and they can kill off the negative energy. And get rid of the negative energy. And then you can also use it as... Um, a way to manifest if you want to burn sage and think about what you want and picture whatever it is that you're trying to manifest picture the message going up to the heavens the gods above your ancestors the higher being your higher self yourself whatever you imagine it is just picture it going up there and just as it goes up there it's just like taking the weight off your shoulder. Like you wanted it down here so much. You was carrying that want. And then after you let it go, the want just releases off your shoulder and it just goes up. And then you don't think about it no more. It's no longer a want. It's, it's, it's what it is. You already got it. It's here. You already got it. And then it's going to come. Like, yeah. 
it's really that simple, but you have to work hard at it, you know what I mean? So, there's a bunch of different types of herbs that you can use for sage. And I want to sh uh, tell you, I mean, that you can use for smudging. Now, smudging, you can use the... Clear any clear it out of the air. You can use it for manifestation. You can use it to um, bless objects, to clear objects, to clear your own aura. You can use it for a lot of things. So and it's different herbs attract different things. So um, they got all spice for uplifting and increasing energy and determination. Um, use bay leaves you can just burn bay leaves by yourself by itself bay leaves for psychic power divination success and money and wishing magic you can burn catnip you can burn chamomile you can burn cinnamon cloves um lavender lemongrass lilac peppermint rosemary um ginger frankincense dill dandelion cedar like you can burn so much stuff and it doesn't really have to be wrapped up like this you can um you can burn it like in the what's it called and like anything that you can it, you'll let it burn in this might let it burn but i can't think of what it's called like a kettle type thing I can't remember what it's called. I'm telling you, stuff slips my mind. Like, and I just bought one the other day. Like, but so you just want to burn it. This is how I like to do it. I like to get a nice flame on there, but not too much. You have to really be ready for it. And I like to go. And I like to. You can say anything. I say things on, along the lines of, this is this is my space. This is my space to create. This is my space to lay. This is my space of positivity, of abundance. I am grateful in this space. Um, any negativity or, like, this is a blank. You know, I'm just trying to think off the top of my head of something that I really like closing my eyes usually and I really like to feel it. And the words usually flow, but just trying to give you guys some things. You don't even have to say nothing. You can just really be quiet and imagine, visualize. This is a clean spot. This is a safe spot. This is a spot of positivity, of a no judgment, a judgment free zone. All the negativity is gone. All the negativity is banish all the negativity is cleanse um i'll use this area to create this area to love this area is filled with love just whatever you want to say just whatever you want to say whatever you want if you need to write down something you can recite a psalms or something you can recite a prayer whatever however you resonate with it you literally can just make it yours do what you want to do The other one I got downstairs. And you know one other thing that you can do? Is you can just sit it in a little um, heat, safe bowl, whatever it's called. Just sit it in there and let it burn. You can just sit here and meditate. Meditate on what you want. So... If you want to do an object, I like to hold it over the object and imagine the smoke passing through. Just get a real, get a real good look at the object. Study the object, and then close your eyes and picture that exact same object. Then picture it being cleansed. However, you got to picture something being cleansed. If it needs to be washed, wash it. Like however you picture something being cleansed. In your head, do that. Picture the smoke growing through. Picture the smoke cleansing it. This money is now cleansed. 
This money is now used for manifestation. This money is real money. This is universal money. Some of this money will be used for my ancestors. Some of this money will be used for any deities that I decide to work with. Some of this money will just be um, used to burn for myself. You know what I mean? So just to manifest more money. $10,000. I'm covered in money. I'm about to be covered in money. I'm about to be wealthy. So the deck. The deck, the deck, the deck. I'm about to do the same thing. Now I'm going um, counterclockwise because I'm getting rid of negative getting rid of negative. If that, if that doesn't matter to you, just hold it right there. Just pass it through. How many times a number that comes to your head that you feel right with. Whatever ritual that you want to do, create it and make it your own. That's what I'm saying. It all works. It all works. You can go like this. You are now some some weird tap number, whatever, whatever. And if you feel like that works and it gets the job done, that's what you can do because you have to make it yours. You have to make it yours. A tip is to not get lazy. Just don't get lazy. Just do what you got to do. If you feel like just passing it through a crystal through the smoke is not enough and you don't believe it's really clean, and you feel like you got to take other precautions to make sure it's clean or do something else until you really feel like it's clean, do that. Just don't get lazy. Like Just do that. Sometimes that's why I don't use stuff because I feel like it's not clean. I feel like I didn't clean it good. And it's not going to work. When you have that doubt that it's not going to work. And if you're not able to just trust solely, then that can be a problem. It can be detrimental to your spell work. Okay, guys. So, um, just another thing. I do have, I do have these for sale on my site. You can get a custom made one. Um, right now I'm already offering thyme, oregano, and rosemary, um, floral, it can be floral, it can just be plain. Now I do have a special going on now, um, for the sex workers, so get old handle, go over to my website to check it out, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, until next time, let me stage y'all hoes for the negative motherfuckers that's coming up in this bitch. You are sage, you are queen, so yes, so cute, so bad. I brought a newsletter to let you know I'm really leaving and no, I'm not keeping your shit. Heard you got some new homies, got some new hobbies, even a new hoe too. Maybe she can come help you.